Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I'm going to be doing a B6 Traveler's Notebook setup and I'm going to be using a Scribble Prince Co. kit that is themed around birthdays because I'm doing this for July, which is my birthday month. Um, my birthday is actually in three weeks and it like snuck up on me and I was like, oh my god, I have that kit I haven't used. So I am sitting down to film this. I've already trimmed down a lot of the papers. As you can see, I've got random scraps here. I did that off camera just to make things a little bit easier, but FYI, they originally came like this, kind of folded in half like that, and then I just trimmed them. Basically, I kind of cut out this middle fold, and I just trimmed them into individual sheets because I find that a little bit easier to work with in my vinyl dashboards, which I have from Foxy Fix here. Um, and then I, yeah, so I just trimmed those down. I you trim down what I thought. It also came with, oh, my nail polish is like chipping off as we speak. Real great, guys. Um, it also came with a couple sheets of vellum, so I went ahead and trimmed those down. Um, and then all the other stuff that it came with, I have off to the side here. So um, I bought the sticker add-on, so you got some scribblers, and then you got three sheets of stickers, which I think will look really cute for decoration, or actually those two. And then these are for the tabs. This was a journaling card that actually came as a sneak peek for this one with I forget which TN kit it came with, but it came with another one, um, but I saved it so I could use it with this one. You have this cute little happy birthday babe one. Then you have your tabs, so I'm gonna set those aside and use that. And then you have a bunch of little like vinyl die cuts, which are super cute, and you can use those like stickers. Um, they're really, really pretty. And then you have this adorable little make-a-wish one, another um, vinyl die cut. This journaling card I don't think I'll use because I don't look like either of these girls, let alone the fact that I'm like not like a size two stick figure. I also don't have blonde hair or dark skin. So I think I'm gonna put that in my giveaway pile. Um, but then we have this little pretty one, um, another one of those. So yeah, I think we have, and I have some other stuff from my collection that I went ahead and pulled out. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I think that I've found in the past, it's a little tricky to do this kind of set up piece as a talk through. So I'm gonna do it as a voiceover so you can see my process, but then I'll do a talk through, um, flip through at the end and kind of show you everything. And I will leave a timestamp link below um, so you can see um, where, if you wanna jump ahead to that. By the way, the Foxy Fix I'm gonna be using is a B6 Foxy Fix. I've used this for a bunch of setups recently. I just think it's really versatile. It's a sugar coconut. It does get dirty. As you can see, we've got a little, need to do a little rehab here. It has pink stitching, light pink, light pink stitching, and pink elastics. I have only four elastics because this is a compact size. Um, I think I'm only gonna use four inserts. I've talked in a recent video about how I haven't been finding my weekly planning as functional and I felt like I was carrying too much around. Um, so I'm, I've trimmed it down to just four inserts. I'll go through that at the end um, and share those with you. But uh, yeah, so I really like my sugar coconut. It definitely gets a little beat up. It is white, but I think it's really, pretty and it just goes with this setup and like a lot of different setups very well. It does have a gold foil um, fox and pip bow on the spine, which I think looks so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The vinyl dashboards I will be using are from Foxy Fix as well. Um, I am just going to slide in uh, the uh, what are these called? The papers into there. So I'm going to go ahead and start to work on those. Okay, so I just kind of get started by uh, taking that Make-A-Wish uh, little journaling card. Oh no, wait, I went to the Happy Birthday Babe because I decided I wanted to put that at the front. Since obviously it's a birthday themed setup, I thought it would be really cute to feature it at the front. front. But I didn't like the printed background of that card on top of the other prints. So I pulled in some glitter paper. I actually had this just set to the side. Um, I had used it in my last kind of summer themed setup. So I just trimmed it down to a square shape and kind of offset that. Um, with the journaling card on top of it because I just thought that looked cute. And at first I got my glue stick out, but then I got out my little, um, uh, what's it called, glue runner. Although, spoiler alert, that's gonna die on me very shortly. So we're gonna go back to the glue stick. But um, for now, I am just trimming off the hanging off edges. And I just think that looks kind of cute as like a little way to um, put a background on that. Um, and I decided to leave the rest of it pretty simple because that card was really pretty imprinted. Um, and in general, my strategy to making dashboards is just kind of keep trying stuff. I always pull out like all the die cuts and journaling cards 
I want to use at first um, and like have those set to the side and then just kind of go and see what looks nice on papers. Um, I liked the way the Make-A-Wish one here looked on this pink background. Also, if you can hear snoring, that is my dog. Um, she is so loud. Um, so anyway, you saw that my glue thing just broke, so I had to break out the glue stick, but the glue stick dries pretty quickly so I can pop stuff into dashboards uh, pretty quickly for that. And then I thought um, that some of the little die cuts would look really cute. I really like this style of die cuts. I know since then Andrea I think has moved away from it, but um, these can be used. They're basically like a vinyl die cut and you can use them as a die cut or you can just use them as stickers, which makes it really easy because I didn't have to get out the glue stick yet again. Um, and they just feel really cool too. Um, so I like those. And then I am taking this journaling card. This is from a recent Scribble Prince Co order. It says, hello, love, and has like a gold foil bow. Um, it's so pretty. Um, and I just, since that's a pretty simple card, I put it on a slightly more printed background, um, which I like. And then I have one done kind of back and front. Since these papers are double sided, you don't really need to like, you can just do them front to back. If that makes sense, you don't need to have two pieces of paper in a single vinyl dashboard. And then I was trying to figure out how to use that slightly busier journaling card. Um, and But I, at the same time, it didn't really have a centerpiece. So I wanted to put kind of something in the center. Um, I, I'm going to glue it down to this um, printed background. And then I'm using this little die cut, which is from Jesenia, and it says, you're making me blush, and it's a purple planner, which purple's my favorite color. Mm -hmm. I decided to kind of try to incorporate some touches of purple in this um, because I'm just, like, obsessed with purple, and it I wanted to have purple in my birthday uh, planner. And now I'm sliding those into the vinyl dashboards from the Foxy Fix. I prefer the ones that have the, um, like, straight across. There's either, either secretarial or, like, a pocket setup. The pocket ones are the ones I like where you just kind of slide it in like you'll see right here oh I stopped doing it um but I uh, like those a little bit better than the secretarial because the papers stay a little bit more um sturdy but the secretarial are nice if you're trying to get stuff in and out a lot so just you know depends on what you're looking for I thought that little throws bows at them die cut on top of the bow paper was so cute. That is from my friend uh, Jesenia, the planner Sophisticate. Um, she had made that for some of us, and I think that is like an inside joke, which is so adorable. And then I realized I screwed up, I think, that I was supposed to put it on that dashboard, but I forgot. So I'll go back and fix that at the end. Um, that last dashboard I was just using was a secretarial one. Um, I don't know if you could tell. Sorry, I'm going fast, but I think this part's kind of boring, so I didn't want to stick with it. Here I'm reusing a little pocket, adhesive pocket from the Target dollar spot that was already attached to the back of this dashboard. And I'm using that to just hold a little calendar card because um, I just like that. And I already had that, po that adhesive pocket attached to the vinyl dashboard. So I had decided to reuse that. And then I have this little extra uh, card that I had saved from the previous kit with the shoes definitely not shoes I would really wear but they do look very pretty um, and then I'm doing the same thing here where I'm just taking some of the vinyl die cuts um, as little kind of surrounding for the centerpiece that's just like an aesthetic I like a lot and that bow right there that's foiled that is a um, digital printable you can buy from Jesenia's uh, printables and um, I then she had foiled it for me which was awesome and here I'm sliding this in and I didn't put anything on the back of that because as you can see it already has the adhesive pocket and then it has the really printed paper and I thought that was like plenty for that back run. And that's um, really it for the actual dashboards I'm setting up. I'm going ahead and putting my inserts in now, but since there were two sheets of vellum that came with this uh, kit, I didn't really need like I because I'm only using four inserts, I only needed two vinyl dashboards and then I could use vellum for the other ones. Um, and so I'm just kind of flipping through, putting the vellum around the sheets and trying to decide, oh, I have that little piece of acetate. You'll see that more at the end in the flip through um, and just like wrapping stuff around the vellum. I decided to, to try a piece of acetate around this particular piece of vellum as well. Um, which you see here, that's a piece of uh, acetate from the GP Studio a kit from that. But ultimately, I just thought it looked a little busy since that vellum was already pretty busy. So I decided to leave it as is. And that's where I'm noticing that I put the throws bows on them on the wrong um, sheet. So I'm moving that over um, to this particular dashboard that was already in the planner and fixing that. And now we can do the um, pockets. This one does have the card pockets on it, which I always find a little tricky 
tricky to decorate, but it's kind of like a fun challenge. And here I'm just cutting down this sheet of paper that I've um, just so it'll slide in a little bit better. Um, and then I am going to get um, a little washi card that I set up. You'll see more of that at the end. Um, and and some clips. Um, that one's from the Creative Bee Shop. And then I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to put in that other pocket. So I'm just clipping to the front of it a little, one of the little, what are they called, die cuts that came with the Scribble Prince Co. kit. Um, and then he, clipping that on with a little love paper clip from Green and Lime. And I thought that looked a little plain. So I'm sticking some paper in behind it as well. I'm just going to go ahead and trim that down with some scissors just for some extra color there. Um, and I just thought that looked really cute. And then we have the back, of course. I'm doing the same thing, just using one of these pieces of paper. Um, but then I'm layering some acetate over top of it just because I thought that was extra like foil and fun. And I used some of the stickers as deco as well. And now I'm just gonna go through and add paper clips to the planner. Um, some of these end up kind of being like off screen. So I'm actually going to Go ahead and cut it here and then you can see all the accoutrements in the flip through at the end if you would like. Okay guys, so that came together pretty quickly. That's one thing I love about the Scribble Prince Co. kits is like you have a lot built in there and the papers all coordinate. The other thing I'll say is only doing four inserts versus six mean, meant I only had like four dashboards to decorate which made it a lot easier and two of those dashboards ended up being vellum so like it was pretty quick to pull this together. So let me go ahead and walk you through everything that I put into this little birthday setup. So like I said at the beginning, this is a Foxy Fix Sugar Coconut with the light pink stitching and pink elastics. I think this was before they offered all the different elastic colors. On the front, I just put a super simple um, open heart charm from k and Co XOXO. I love this charm. I've used it in a couple different setups because I just think it's so simple and pretty. And it's one of those that doesn't really like look over the top if anybody sees it at work or anything like that. And also it slides really nicely into your bag. And then on the spine, I have another one of my favorite kind of work friendly slash um, travel friendly charms. And this is from Peach Palm. You guys know I love Peach Palm if you've watched this channel before. Um, it's a really cute little bow with a little palm at the bottom and they look really super cute on the spine and goes along with my Fox and Pip bow that I have down there. And then let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, let me show you though the side game before we get started. I like incorporated a few dangle charms and kind of have some like gold paper clips sticking out. And then obviously I have the pen and I just feel like the whole aesthetic is very, very nice. So let me go ahead and open it up. Okay, so in the front, I definitely wanted to have something birthday related. So I put this birthday babe little journaling card that came with the Scribble Prince Coquette. It wasn't like laying nicely on any of the printed papers. Um, it just looked like too busy. So I decided to offset it with some glitter paper. That's from a pack from Michaels. I actually used that specific sheet of paper in my last setup. So I happened to have it sitting near my desk and I was like, huh, I'm gonna use that. Um, and then over on the pocket side, I have just a sheet of the actual printed paper from the kit. The nice thing about the Scribble Prince Co. paper is that it is pretty thick so it like holds well in your pockets and you can slide it in easily. In this little top pocket I have a super cute little washi card. The washi card itself is from um, Scribble Prince Co. in her latest wa her new washi release. And then the I put a little bow from Simply Gilded on top um, and I thought that looked super cute and then put some of my favorite pink and purple and gold washies. I decided to try to pull in more of the purple in this setup as you'll notice not a ton but like I love purple more than I love pink even though this kit was like mostly pink there were a few touches of purple so I decided to try to play it up and then in the next pocket I have a paper clip from the creative bee shop just a simple gold bow I think that looks super pretty and then finally down here I have a little um what are these called? Like a little gold paper clip from Green and Lime. Um, and I just slid that over and stuck one of the vinyl die cuts from the kit. Just kind of like put it on there just, I don't know, for some extra deco. But then I thought it looked a little plain. So I just took a scrap of paper and just stuffed, stuffed it in that pocket as kind of a background. And then in my first insert, I'm going to be playing around with what this insert is. Um, right now I have a daily insert from Jesenia's Printables, which I really um, am excited to try out. I 
did mention in a recent plan with me video that I just like have not found planner piece lately in my traveler's notebook. I still really like it for the monthly spread, the habit tracking, having something with me to jot down notes. But in terms of like a daily like or weekly planner, I have not been like using it as much as I should. So I've decided to try out a few different inserts over the next week before I pick up doing plan with me's in this particular planner again. Um, so this is the one I'm gonna try out first. It's this really cool kind of, uh, what do they call this? There's a term for it that Jasenia has that I'm totally forgetting. It's like, oh, something window. It's like basically the concept is you have like a top bar here and then for each day you kind of flip and then you have something at the end of the week, which is super fun. So I incorporated a lot of clips in that. Oh, actually, before I get into that, let me just show you the back of this. So the back of this paper is printed as well. So you can just like use that just as deco. I added in a little die cut there that is from, um, Jasenia made these for uh, some of us that, uh, like Viv, Kiara and I, that we all have like a little group chat and this was like a joke that we had, which is amazing. And it says throws bows at them, which is hilarious. And Jasenia is amazing font and she foiled that for us as well. Um, so anyway, back to the insert on the front here, like I would just put this at the front of the week. This is a, um, peach palm little heart um actually courtesy of viv she sent that to me it's amazing um and it's a little pink heart i love that and then to mark my place in each day i'll be moving this kind of along in the week if that makes sense this is a bookmark from studio signet i love her bookmarks i do have a coupon code for her um i think they're super super nice um and this is like one of the bow ones and on the other side it has a monkey knot and it has a bow and it's purple and i love it so obviously had to include that. So on the side here, I have another, or I have a dangle charm that's also from Studio Signet. And this one's an initial dangle. It has H on it and a little charm. And I think these are just like, kind of like a fun, like, I don't know. Like I haven't used dangle charms like this in my planner before, at least on, not on the side. And I think they look really cool. So um, I'll see if they're actually functional or if they're just kind of get in the way, but I think they look really pretty. So anyway, so that is the first insert I do have on the back to kind of hold since there is this like listing kind of weekly overview page on the back. I have this uh, paper clip from Green and Lime, which is a little coffee cup. I love this one. I incorporate it in almost every setup and it has a little um, handle there that you can use to flip. So then that is that first insert. In the back of that dashboard, I left this blank. I thought this was so pretty and patterned um, that I wanted to have just a sheet with it just in the planner somewhere. And then on the back, that had a simple brush stroke one. So on top of that, I put the kind of floral journaling card that came with it. And then I felt like it needed a centerpiece. So I added this amazing planner that Jasenia drew. A pink version of it is available in her printable shop and you can like print it out and cut it out yourself. Jasenia is amazing and made me a purple one at some point, which I love purple. So I definitely wanted to incorporate that. And I think it's a really cute focal point. And then in this next uh, insert, I have a piece of acetate here. It's mostly plain, except for there's a little overlay that has the throws bows on them, um, or throws bows at them on it again, which is so funny. Again, Jasenia is amazing and made that for me. Um, anything I can't do myself, apparently Jasenia makes for me, which she's just like an amazing friend. And then the inside here is an SPC, or it's from the SPC kit, um, and it's really pretty delicate. Um, bow vellum. I love this. And it's actually a pretty sturdy vellum. It's not like delicate vellum, but I just meant the bow is like delicate. And I really like the effect of layering some acetate over vellum. Number one, I just think it looks pretty with like the foil overlaid it. But then two, vellum does tend to get a little, um, like it gets a little bit more beat up, I think, than like standard paper. So protecting it with the acetate is always nice. Then in the next insert with the other half of the Studio Signet bookmark, I have um, my to-do list here. I've had this in the last several setups and it uh, just has flags at the top. Those are from Two Little Bees. And then I just kind of have um, different lists that I kind of make running lists for myself. These are like longer term to-dos, not like daily to-dos. So that's why this particular insert has lasted me for so long. Um, up here, I do have a uh, paper clip from ribbon and nib which is nikki plans etsy shop i have a discount code for her as well um and i just think this is so cute with the little planner and the little heart i love that then i just added another one because i'm obsessed with gold paper clips clearly and this is from green and lime um so i just have those kind of marking various places in my list notebook 
um, and then have the back half of that. And then I love this dashboard. This one is in a vinyl one and it says make a wish and I have the balloons and the present there. I think that's so cute. Um, and then on the back of that, I have this really pretty um, Hello Love journaling card from Scribble Prince Co. Um, and that came in one of my recent orders and it's foiled. I don't know if you can tell in this light, but it's amazing. And then in this next insert, I just have, this is just like, it was gonna be to track my workouts, but I decided to leave that at home. And instead I just like turn this dot grid into, it's just like a brain dump type of thing. Sometimes I use it to track what I did so I can memory plan. Sometimes I use it to like just jot notes to myself. It's just like a dot grid that I can use for whatever. So I have the next bait blank page marked with like four different things because I don't know, I just like adding bookmarks. First up, I have a bookmark from Studio Signet and this one is an initial charm one. It has an H on it. And this is her, I think it's called her nude pink cord, which looks so pretty in real life. I have another peach palm, little palm up here in purple. And then finally, I have another dangle charm from Studio Signet. This one has a tiny little um, crystal bow on it with a little gem at the bottom. I think that looks so pretty. And that is it for that insert. And then at the back here, we have another, um, the other half of the vinyl dashboard. I took one of the papers from the kit and I took that like heels journaling card that I had gotten as a freebie. And then I layered a little, um, the vinyl sticker of the sparkling rose, which I think is so cute. And then this bow, you can actually get this in Jesenia's shop and it has some champagne foil on it. Um, and you can, you can buy the printable and like print and foil it yourself if you want to. And then on the back here, I have that um, really busy, but really pretty present print again. So I kept this pretty simple. I actually had a pretty similar little pocket set up in my last setup and I liked having the month there for reference. So I have July, the calendar there and I can just pull that out whenever I, if I need to reference it. And then in the pocket as well, I have my little initial from Jesenia's printables. You can buy that um, in her shop. And then Jesenia was so sweet and foiled it for me. I hold all that together with a K and Co XOXO clip. Oh, the calendar is from My Paper Love Studio, by the way. And then at the bottom here, I just have a little, I'm like struggling to finesse all this. I just have a little one of the sticker die cuts that came with the kit. And then in this last one, I just used this really pretty tassel um, vellum. I was torn on whether I should use this or like another vinyl dashboard, but honestly, this felt simpler. And so I went with that and that is around my monthly uh, insert. And I love this. I just finished this um, uh, monthly pre-plan for um, the, my B6 yesterday. Normally I pre planted my Erin Condren, but I'm trying it out in the B6 this month and I think I'm gonna like this a lot. So basically I just put in here like all the plans that I know are happening as well as like bill dues and paydays. Um, I used some uh, stickers from a planning world kit the like the foiled icons for the most part are from that obviously I used a lot of simply gilded washi down at the bottom and up here this insert is from Jesenia's printables actually all of my inserts at this point are from Jesenia's printables in case you didn't realize that um, I have a little peach palm charm there another green and lime paper clip I just really really like this I thought this looked so pretty I hope you can see it we have the other half of that Studio Signet bookmark. And then this this insert is her monthly combined with her habit tracker. I need to fill this in, but this will just be a simple black and white page where I use to track my monthly habits. And then I paper clip like the rest of the month together or the rest of the insert together on both sides because this is a really big insert. So it's actually, this should be all, this should all be paper clipped. Um, this is such a big insert that it like gets in the way to have to flip through a bunch. So I like to have them kind of clipped on either side. And then finally in this clipped section, I've attached this little, I'll pull it out so you can see it. It's really cute. This is from the yellow key and it's this like elastic ribbon that has, um, it's pink with like gold bows on it. And then she attaches it to a mini binder clip so you can use it as a pen holder, which I think is so freaking smart. So I just have that attached in my final insert, just kind of like towards the back so it won't get in the way. Um, I'm having a hard time doing this while the pen is in there. So let me take that out. So I'll just show you, you kind of attach it, fold down the little binder clip things, and then you can just slide your pen and my pen gems fit perfectly. This is an amazing pen gem. Um, that was a limited edition collab with paper princess. I think that's so pretty. I don't really have black anywhere else in this planner, but I just really, really like this one. And I think it looks really cute with the monthly as well. So I went ahead and popped that on. And then there's the back half of the vellum. 
And then finally in the back pocket, I took a one of those brush stroke print papers and I put a gold dotted acetate over top of it. I love that. I think it looks so pretty layered like that. And then in the pocket, I just put those two sheets of stickers that came with the kit, mostly for deco. I could use them in things if I wanted to, but honestly, let's be real, mostly for deco. And then I have one final little washi card here. This card itself is from Ribbon and Nib. Nib. I kind of overstuffed the washi on here because I was trying to get a bunch on um but i love all these most of these are some of my favorites from simply gilded and then this one at the bottom is from scribble prints co so i think that looks so sweet poking out there so that is pretty much it for my little birthday traveler's notebook setup kept it pretty simple because i just wanted to like get this done today and not stress about like collecting all the perfect things um i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below um if you ever have done like a special setup for your birthday or if you picked up this Traveler's Notebook Kit from Scribble Prints Co. and whether you've used it yet. I will mention, by the way, I didn't use the tabs. I started to use them and then I realized, number one, I did them wrong. The, the, it's supposed to go up here with the label. And then when I was trying to stick them down, my glue tape had broken and it just wasn't working. And I was like, you know what? I have so many charms and clips and everything. I don't really need the tabs. So I decided to skip them. And I feel like my side game is still pretty freaking cute. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.